welcome to the project demonstration of solar outdoor air purifier and air quality monitoring system by using thinkspeak or nothing but iot so here the main application of this project is we are going to monitor the air quality by using the two sensors that is mq6 and mq135 to monitor the gas levels and air quality levels these two parameters continuously monitored by the arduino uno board and we are going to see the status of these two sensors on the LCD screen and parallelly we are going to upload the same sensors data into the ThinkSpeak by using this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module so here one more application is like all these uh, system will get the power supply from this 12 volt 1 amp DC battery and which is rechargeable battery by using the solar panel we are going to recharge this so the solar panel ratings are 12 volt 5 watt uh, solar panel we are going to use and uh, the battery ratings are 12 volt 1 amp so it will take around the 5 to 6 hours when we are getting the full sunlight from the solar panel and whenever there is no sunlight is available we can recharge this uh, battery uh, with help of transformer nothing but grid power supply so to charge a battery when the sunlight is not available just on the power supply to this transformer then uh, this light will indicate the battery is charging and uh, same here also uh, the battery will get fully charged with the help of transformer it will take 6 hours uh, time maximum till the duration we should keep the battery under charging so before demonstration the very first step is keep the battery under full charge next while final project demonstration you can disconnect the transformer and connect the solar panel at this charging section and you can place the solar panel under the sunlight and this one is the air purifier along with the uh, monitoring of this air quality with the help of the sensors we are going to purify the air with the help of this uh, air purifier which will take the air inlet this section and it will provide the filtered air output from this side air outlets and this air purifier will be controlled through this electromagnetic relay and here for demonstration purpose we have an extra battery for safety purpose uh, whenever we are running the air purifier through this relay coming to the components interfacing circuit diagram so we have interfaced this uh, mq6 sensor h pin number a0 a1 for this mq135 pin number a2 uh, to pin number 7 for the 16 by 2 lcd screen and esp8266 interface at the pin number 8 and 9 pin number 10 for this electromagnetic relay and coming to the components this one is a breadboard to distribute the 5 volts power supply throughout the input and output modules and this will get the power 5 volts power supply from this lm2596 voltage regulator so here this purpose of this lm2596 is as we need to provide the maximum current for this mq series sensors as uh, they will consume the more power so for the purpose we are using the more power driven voltage regulator that is lm2596 which will take 12 volts dc input from this uh, battery pack and provide us the 5 volts dc constant output mm, yeah and uh, so as we discussed we should keep the battery under full charge before demonstration and the next step is before demonstration we should enable the hotspot so for that go to hotspot settings of your phone configure the hotspot to project 6565 without any space without any capital letter on the hotspot along with data and password should be 12345678 the idea is project 6565 and apband should be 2.4 gigahertz so after configuration of these hotspots then uh, log into the ThinkSpeak cloud platform there we can see the 6565 and after log into this there we can see the previous data over here that is a gas in ppm and air quality in ppm so you can erase this old data so to that before erasing you should take this data as a backup so for that data import exports and let download the data so it will be get downloaded in excel sheet format so once you open that it will uh, show you along with date and time and number of samples still now collected this date and time entry id still now how many samples we have collected so that is around uh, 38 samples and first one is gas ppm second one is the air quality index after you took the backup now go to channel settings okay and in that there we can see the the last clear channel don't do any other things only clear channel so once channel got cleared then uh, you can go to private view to access the fresh data right so there you can see the old data got erased now we can access the fresh data so as we have already on the hotspot and data now on the power supply to the kit through, through this switch so once we are on that there you can see the welcome message on the lcd screen let us see that a welcome message on the lcd screen and the system will connect it to the, your mobile phone so you can see one device will be connected here the one device is connected 
and uh, there you can see the continuous monitoring of gas and air as we have already placed uh, smoke near to that that's why it's getting interfering right now I remove the smoke from there right so when I'm placing smoke near to this there we can see the relay got switched on and uh, we can connect this right we can connect the battery over there and the next when we are increasing that the NQ series air quality got increased we can sense that uh, the air purifier got switched out you can see that it is taking the right okay and now coming to the uh, LPG uh, data sensor MQ uh, this gas sensor so just I am providing the input from the LPG right again it got switched out right okay so in this manner uh, solar powered air quality will be monitored continuously through the cloud platform and also we are going to uh, control the air quality with the help of this air purifier uh, with the help of Arduino you know, board here right thank you sorry you can see the yeah right so as we can see the live data is uploading to the things peak now so as the gas has arised so like this continuous the data will be uploaded to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform for every 15 seconds of duration as it can accept the data for 15 seconds of duration in that so while we are demonstrating we should keep the distance right so we got the one more new data arrived right thank you